Hey guys, MT and Wins again with a brand new Unturned video. Today it's obviously gonna be a pretty cool one because as I've told you, I've promised you I'm gonna be making cool videos uh, since uh, my summer break pretty much started, which was about a month ago. And I've been uploading so many videos and we have gotten so much good response, especially lately. We have gotten so many views on each and every video and I haven't asked for likes in such a long while. I've decided let's see if we can do this because I know this video is gonna get a lot of views and if I do clickbait, I don't know what title it's gonna be. I apologize already now, but could we get 355 likes on this video? That would be absolutely awesome. Also guys, I have just gotten my subscription button on Twitch, which is absolutely awesome. If you want to follow me, I pretty much stream there daily. It's twitch.tv slash mtngd. Make sure to check it out. If you like Unturned content, then I stream for you, because at the moment, I'm the biggest and most active Unturned streamer on Twitch. Anyways guys, let's get right into this video. So this map is called Homestead. It's uh, basically a house. I don't know really what Homestead is supposed to mean. Basically, it's a home, I suppose. Was a, a more advanced home or maybe a mid-century home. I really don't know. I don't know what this is. This looks like, you know, when you fish and such. I just don't know what this is. You can probably climb this as well. Yeah, that's a glitch with the map. You should probably fix it. This is basically a water reserve. Uh, as you can see already, he has put some... Uh, he has modified it a bit so it looks a bit mid-century styled. You know, it, in my opinion, it looks really sick. And the house overall outside, it just looks sick. You can probably tell from the cinematics in the beginning that it looked super cool. And if you like the cinematic, it's a new style that I've been using in my latest uh, three videos besides the commentary that I did. Uh, I've started to use cinematics more and I've learned how to use rule of third. So I really try to master cinematic. And uh, over here, I see something. I really don't know what this is. Uh, let's see. Mm, you know what it reminds me of, you know, when you throw darts and such or shoot with a bow, like bow and arrow. I think this is like a, what do you call it? Not hit marker. I really don't know what you call it, but you probably understand what I mean. When you pretty much uh, practice your archery. So this is how the house looks outside. You can see the planks are really advanced compared to any other houses that we have. And um, you can see that it actually is made of like logs, you can see. I'm going to show a screenshot of a house that looks like this, basically a wood log house. I know that some people have these as cabins pretty much. I think it's pretty cool. I really like this style of it. Um, but this is just outside. Like I'm firstly going to show everything outside and then we're going to go inside. Here we pretty much have uh, a farm, I guess it is. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's obviously broken, but what could have this been? It looks like a mill or something. I really don't know, but it looks cool. No, this is a mill. I'm stupid. That's not a mill, but this is a mill. I think that's what it's called. Basically, this is this bins in the air, and basically here you can put flour and such, and it's basically going to get uh, you know spread out and such. I'm not sure though. Uh, this could also be uh, the electricity generator, pretty much, but I don't think this house is run by electricity. My first guess is uh, that it's basically where you can uh, put the butter and such to basically get it in a much nicer form, pretty much. Uh, this is a little shed. I will see if I can go into it. Of course, here I can. Uh, basically, a hen house, actually. I didn't know this. You can see that there are eggs that spawn here. <laughs> Pick up the eggs. They're already in their cardboard boxes, which is pretty funny. Uh, but this is a hen house. It looks really cool, and it actually does look like a hen house, of course. So he did a good job with this and he's probably like basing this building off of uh, something that he has seen in real life i think this is a tree sap yeah it is this is where you can like collect sap from a tree or so you get sap then you make it desire pretty much and um, now to the big moment this awesome house we're gonna have a look on it in the inside uh, this is basically the porch it has a table and two chairs outside looks cool a door oh my god i am so excited for this dude look you just look how, how this looks guys this is just absolutely amazing in my opinion. You can see the bear down here. It can either, I think this is a bear, mostly use a bear on the floor when it's uh, in houses. In my old cabin we had a long time ago when I was young, uh, we had a bear, bear skin on the floor like this. It's pretty cozy actually. Um, what is this? Is this where you basically make clothes? I think it is. Um, I don't know the word for it at the moment. My English is absolutely terrible. I apologize for that, but I forgot what this is called. Uh, but I think this is basically where you make clothes and such, you know? Hope you understand what I mean. A normal table with some candles on it. I really like these candles. They look sick. Up there, what do we have here? Is that cloth? No, this is... Is this... I, I don't know what that is. I really don't know what it is. But it looks cool. Uh, here we have basically a furnace, I think it is. Or a fire pit, whatever. It looks super cool. You have these wood logs if you want to check some more in, you know basically fire fuel or whatever you want to call it up there we have a painting pretty much here we have a library pretty much you can read your favorite books by mtn i actually released a book called how to kill a noobs 101 in unturned no i didn't i should do that though i should make like literally write a book about how you can kill people in unturned then i should sell it for like 69 euro 60. Uh, okay but this is pretty much downstairs newspaper and such ink there 
whatever you want to do down here. Uh, we're gonna head upstairs now. After that, we have checked this place out. I almost forgot. Uh, this is out. Those two are leading out, and this is like the garage or something like that. Um, fishing hooks, I guess, if you want to put down some fish you have got there, but you probably want to cook it up because it's probably going to get moldy. Or is this a kitchen? This could be a kitchen, actually. I really, I haven't checked this map out earlier, so I'm pretty much guessing what this is. This uh, does look like a kitchen, and this is supposed to be groceries or something because it really does look like it. Um, I think it's just seeds basically put in a object, uh, but it does look cool. This it's it does indeed look cool. And um, the lamps are you know like those uh, oil lamps I suppose it is. I think it's oil lamps. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. Gives a cozy feeling you know. This is the upstairs. You basically have three beds here. Uh, two double beds. No. This is one double bed, two singles, I guess, and there's one table in the middle, and that chair. I don't know, like, it would probably be cooler, like, better if you put one chair here and one chair here, then you put the lamp on it, because I think that could give a cozy feeling, you know? Uh, or maybe some uh, candles or something, just to give you, you know, gonna talk about it. This is a family, family show, family show. But this is pretty much the house, uh, I'm gonna go out real quick, uh, that's the kitchen. Um, I think this is where you go out. It does have a big forest around it, and... Uh, if you want to get out of this place, I will show you. I showed you in the beginning. There's basically this gate, and you can just go down to the lake over here. Um, I don't know if these roads lead anywhere, but what this guy could do, who made the map, if you're watching this by any chance, uh, maybe make more buildings like this. This could be a great RP for like a, a mid-century RP you get. Something like that, you pretty much. Like mid-century RP, I think that could be fun. And um, would be a unique thing. I don't think there's any mid-century RP servers at the moment. So this could be really cool if you put some more buildings around here. Or maybe make a, like copy this map and just make another map, you know. But overall, it looks cool. Here you have a lake in case you want to go swim or fish. So that's pretty cool. That That is indeed pretty cool. Okay, guys, if you went down to enjoy this episode of uh, me checking out workshop maps. Uh, in this one, we checked out this homestat, which looks very cool. If you really did enjoy, as I said in the beginning, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already because I have uploaded a lot recently and I don't plan on quitting. I will be spamming out videos, okay, like one each day or something like that, one each day or one each and every day. Uh, but I really enjoyed recording this video and I got to experience something super cool. This, this house was something new in Trenchern. But thank you guys for watching, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and the most important thing ever, don't forget to stay coffee and I'll catch ya in the next one everyone. Bye bye!